Hey everyone, welcome back. It's your girl Tasha and today I'm going to be doing a grocery haul where I show you everything that I bought for my groceries today. I go to different stores when it comes to picking up my groceries. I go to Costco, Freshco, Walmart. Well first I'm going to start off with the fruits and vegetables that I got first at Costco and I'm going to go from there. But first, if you haven't already, make sure to like, comment and subscribe as well as share these videos. If you want to see more like this, just comment below and let me know and I will be glad to do them for you. I was just doing my groceries today and I'm like, why not share with y'all what I pick up and what I eat, what my family eats. I picked up a lot of stuff from the West Indian store. It will be pretty interesting to see, you know, what your girl be eating. Let me just start off with my fruits and vegetables. Okay, so I'm going to start off with pineapple i got pineapple i love pineapple but one thing about it is that it gets rid of my taste buds a lot so if i'm eating anything it's going to be the last thing that i do eat because even if i go to a barbecue and they have pineapple there i'll be eating it last for some reason it's just i also got some carrots because i like to make a lot of natural juices and i add carrots and i add beets and a lot of these fruits that you're going to see me have here so that's why i got a big bag because it will run out fairly quickly i also got some apples a big bag of apples you can juice apples make apple pie just eat an apple you know what they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away and if that's true you might as well be eating some apples y'all health is wealth so i do tend to get a lot of fruits and vegetables because it is very important to be healthy so i got berries when you buy these things from Costco, they have them in bulk, obviously. So that's why some of these things are just bigger than what I would buy at another grocery store. Obviously, if you shop at Costco, you know. I also got some sweet corn. I love corn. Even if I just have it as a side of my dinner, it's just awesome. I put it in soup. I love corn soup. Corn is just delicious. I have it on the grill we actually have some corn on the grill right now so yeah this is just extra corn for next time if you hear any screaming you already know it's real so i got some lemons here i always buy lemons and limes because i make a lot of lemon tea lime tea i clean my food with it got some strawberries i buy a lot of strawberries and bananas because i just cut them up and i have them in the freezer i know you can buy these things already frozen but it's just something about cutting it up myself. It's just, it just seems more natural to me. Not that I think that they're fake in there, but it's just, it just makes me feel better. I also got some asparagus. They're nice and thick. We got some grapes here. Green grapes. I think the kids got into this already. That's why it's looking scanty. Every time I come home with the groceries, these kids are just... All of a sudden just extra hungry and just want to eat all the groceries we got some celery celery i use as making celery juice it's one of those things that my mom does all the time i juice um, my fruits and my vegetables and just adding some celery to it or you could just have celery juice on its own there's a lot of health benefits in it and it doesn't taste that bad it's not that great either but it's very we got some peppers here i also got some more peppers in the bags that i have here from the market i got some green ones as well so this is just some of the peppers that i have i cook with a lot of peppers i put them in my meats my fish i just grill them i steam them it's just really good what i wanted to try i want to try stuffed peppers maybe i should do that i've only made stuffed peppers once though so i'm gonna look it up and make some stuffed peppers why not I got some bananas these are just the bananas that i got from costco i didn't know that i already had these so i also have some more bananas but those ones are more ripe so then when those ones are done we also have these ones we got some romaine lettuce lettuce always comes in handy because we make a lot of burgers and a lot of salads and this can run out very quickly and now that i'm sitting uh, now that I'm here and I have all this lettuce, I'm thinking maybe I can make some tacos with this. I do like Taco Tuesdays and I make a lot of tacos here. So 
I think I'm gonna try and make some taco leaves. I hope it tastes good. Like I'm such a tortilla girl. I love tortillas. Tortillas. I love tortillas. I love burritos. So hopefully I like it that way too. Got some broccoli. Now I also buy the whole broccoli, but these just come in handy when I'm in a rush and I just need to add some quickly to my food. Still healthy. I also got some zucchini. And we also planted a lot of zucchini in the summertime and what happened was we got these really ginormous zucchinis. I was even wondering if they ran off into the neighbor's yard because I remember one year we planted some and <laughs> they went into the neighbor's yard. We just shared them but they were just really ginormous and some people gave us some and they were really big too. It's kind of weird but when it's big like that you can also make them into noodles for your lasagna. I didn't get to try doing that but next summer I said when I plant some more I'm just going to make some lasagna with it. I never tried it but I've heard about it. Have you guys tried it? Have you tried making your lasagna using the zucchini as noodles? If you have let me know. Does it taste good? Does it, does it still taste like noodles? I love noodles so it's like I'm not trying to spoil one of my favorite dishes but I would love to try a more healthier version if I could you know. Okay, so that was it from for the fruits and vegetables from Costco. I got some more. I'll show you guys that in a minute. But I just want to finish the stuff that I got from there first. I got some whole wheat bread. One thing I like to make with whole wheat bread is my French toast. I remember I had it one time at my cousin's and it was my cousin's girlfriend. She made it and I was like, oh my gosh, why was I making French toast my whole life without whole wheat bread? So if you make French toast, I don't know, try it one day with whole wheat bread. You might not like it, but for some reason I feel like it just tastes better. It just has that extra texture and that extra flavor. And it's, it's literally really good. I got some croissants. It's kind of foggy because of all the stuff that was on it. But these I would usually warm up and I'll have it even with cheese and eggs and the sandwich. You know croissants, you know voila, they're just delish when they're ready. Especially when especially when they're fresh. I don't like a croissant that's not fresh. But if it's not fresh, I can just heat it up and it's good to go. One thing I like to do from Costco, even if I'm not buying food, I love to buy my drinks there. I love to buy it in bulk. It's just easier for me. So we got some Tropicana orange juice. This stuff runs out real quick because I love orange juice. For the meats that I got, I got some chicken thighs. I got my favorite shrimp. When I tell you, Costco has the best shrimp. If you don't want to be cleaning all them guts out of your shrimp, Costco shrimp is the way to go. I would buy shrimp all the time and it would be like so annoying to just clean it out. This just saves you a lot of time. They taste really great. They're jumbo. It's a reasonable price. Hands down, Costco shrimp just a one we also got some salmon now this is a pretty big piece so what I do is I just cut them up into sections and I put them away and I take them out when I need them so yeah that was it for Costco I'm gonna also show you guys what I got from the market on the weekends especially in the summertime I like to go to the flea market and go to the fruits and vegetable section and I like to just pick out my fruits from there sometimes they're really really good sometimes they're you know but I like to you know pick some good ones so I'm gonna show you guys what I got from there as well Okay, so continue on with the fruits and vegetables that I got. These are the ones that I got from the market. I got some plums. These ones were pretty sweet. I already tried one when I got home. We got some string beans. We got a lot of these peppers. I love these ones. I actually grew a lot of them in the... Sorry, I'm not in the screen. We, got, we grew a lot of these in the backyard and I already cooked with a lot of them already. I love when there's peppers. And they're nice and crunchy they're just so yummy we got some of these they're super sweet they taste so good my mom loves them but I'll put the name on the screen when I when I get it they look like a tangerine but they're not a tangerine I got these solo drinks I never tried this one before this is a Caribbean drink this is a sorrow one and then I also got this um, cola champagne one some people they mix this one with milk I don't do that but I heard it's actually really good we got some supplegin now with supplegin what I do is I make a lot of carrot juices 
not just a freshly squeezed one but back home we make a lot of carrot juice and we add nutriment in it we add condensed milk and nutmeg if you guys want to see me make that just let me know i will gladly make it and i'll show you guys it's really it tastes really good we also got some water this comes in many flavors but i like to drink this when i actually want juice because it's not too sweet and the grape one is my favorite flavor this is the condensed milk that i'm talking about i prefer the goodas goodies or mr goodas it's really good but this one is also good too honestly i buy the one that's on sale because mr goodies even though it's really good sometimes it could be really pricey so if this one's on sale i buy a bulk of these ones and if that one's on sale i buy a bulk of those ones plus it depends on what you're using it for these are not as sweet as as mr goodies but it still does the job if you're making a condensed milk cake if you've heard of that i make condensed milk cake and i could use this one in there it doesn't really need the mr goodies one but if i'm making like carrot juice or irish mosh then that one might taste a little bit more more sweeter and a little bit better this is another drink it's a real peanut bunch and it has strong it has something called strong back in it i have boiled strong back before in my irish mosh and if you're looking for you know just some um, a meal supplement something that's like a peanut punch and you don't really know what to get you can go to the west indian store and you're like i'm gonna go in there but i'm not really sure what to get some of these things you can try and you may like it you may not but at least you know you can give it a try because your girl likes it and i usually have good taste buds so yeah this is a cholesterol free lactose free it says taste a real jamaican drink so if you go when you visit jamaica and you want to come back home and you, you want to still have that you know those flavors you go and you pick up things like these i also got some broccoli but this is a different type of broccoli so it looks like that i cook i steam these with my fish and stuff so that's why i have this type of broccoli some more bananas never have enough bananas here i got some shirley cookie these are pretty good the kids like them some cashews now you can buy the regular cashews but these are roasted cashews and they're pretty good my daughter loves them kylie's always asking for these i got some pumpkin soup mix i make these with my jamaican soups i also steam them with my fish it's just good when i'm making like dumpling and banana and fish and my steam stuff i make the pumpkin soup mix i might add a little bit of coconut juice yummy i also got some chocolate tea now this is like my childhood right right here my childhood in a bag and this can make three to four pots depending on how big the pot is of chocolate tea i use the condensed milk in there and i use regular whole milk i grater it but you can also just add the whole chunk in the pot and just make it dissolve in some water and in some milk and then you just add flavor to it a lot of people they just add the whole bar in there but my dad always grated it so i grater it just like him i also think it just tastes a little bit better when i grater it it might just be my mind but you also add a piece of the cinnamon stick this is my favorite tea no other tea i call it tea but it's probably like a hot chocolate they call it tea um it, it's just super good super good this this is, this is just everything everything in a bag i got some losco carrot juice when i went to jamaica i was making this every day because my auntie she introduced me to it and i was just like yo where has this been all my life i really like the carrot juice one there's other flavors there's vanilla oats but when i tell you the carrot juice the carrot juice one comes clutch so i got two packs of that a lot of this stuff like even this i have a lot more but i just want to show you one of each that i got i got some national spice bun this is good just by itself this is good with jamaican cheese regular cheese sometimes i just hear and i feel like something that i want to munch on this is just awesome my dad would always give me a piece of this and cut it up with cheese easter is my favorite holiday because i eat this till there's no tomorrow i eat bun and cheese until i sick we got some jamaican they call it jamaican pear it's like an avocado 
I love this stuff. You want to eat it when it's ripe and nice and soft. You don't want to force ripe it, which means you don't want to keep pressing it until it gets ripe. Let it sit, let it ripe. Slice it beside your food. Comes clutch. And I'm getting just so excited. Well, I go to these stores and I just buy it away. I got my thyme that I cook with my food. Thyme just gives it that nice extra flavor and I just peel off a piece as I go. I got some okras, yum with my fish. I'm always making okra. Okra is very good for you, it has a lot of health benefits. I got some plant plantain, this is a ripe one. My mom made some the other day and she made it extra crispy and it was just totally good. I'm gonna ask her to make you some of this. Just something when mom cooks for you, it just tastes so much better, you know? I got some Jamaican pumpkin. I got some Jamaican country pepper, a little baggie here. My favorite ones are the green ones. I mean, they probably all taste the same, but you know me, I'm just a weirdo like that. I just think the green ones taste a little bit better. I got some limes. I showed you that I got lemon earlier. I got here. I got some fish. This is some snapper, looking scary on the screen there. I steamed this up. I'm actually gonna make this tomorrow. But I got some cherries here that I didn't show you guys. I got a bag of cherries. I actually got this bag of cherries for four dollars at the market. You know, cherries can run up the bill sometimes. I got some bulla. Do you know bulla? Bulla cake. It's just extra good. This actually tastes good with banana. I know a lot of people eat this with pear or the avocado. So yeah, my dad, again, would always have a piece of bulla. He'll go to the bread shop, he'll get bulla, he'll get his grater cake, he'll get his fresh bread. We got some sweet mangoes here. But I'm very picky with my mangoes these days. I usually love the Julie mango. And they also have these little red and yellow mango. They're so expensive, but when I tell you they're so good, and I think that was, oh no, we got some, we got some more stuff. I go ham on bananas. I'll just cut up a lot and I'll, I won't buy bananas for a while, but we got some more bananas here. But these were the ripe ones. Look at this one, it's already open. But these are the ripe ones and we're gonna eat these ones first. We're gonna have a banana feast up in here. Okay, so this is the chocolate, um, it's like a Nesquik that, that we drink. This tastes better to me than the actual name brand. So that's why I buy it. I boil it with milk when I want some hot chocolate. This is just my favorite no name inexpensive chocolate drink my daughter royal loves that one i got some milk i usually buy the bag but i made it to the grocery store late today and all the bag milk was done guys serious and it was just a holiday the other day like long weekend and i went to the store and there was only three bags of milk left so we're having a milk shortage it looks like it's pretty scary and lastly i got some coffee so i've been a tea i'm always a tea drinker but when i do have my coffee i just make instant coffee i ain't got no heavy duty coffee pot here but this i i like this nestle or nest cafe gold columbia brand coffee it's my favorite one if it's not this i buy i buy the tim hortons brand what i do is i buy this coffee enhancer it's the starbucks one when i found when this came into my life it was just amazing i was so glad that i ran into this i mean it's pretty expensive than other creamers but it's well worth it if you like to have sugar in your coffee and you like cream as well you don't necessarily have to add sugar if you have this so that's what i like about it i can just add my coffee and I add this and i'm good to go it's just my favorite right now and i think it will forever will be my favorite oh and i also got some pine salt i mean y'all know i like to buy cleaning stuff so we also got this big jug of pine salt that is the end of my grocery shopping haul i hope you guys did enjoy it if you did remember to like comment as well as subscribe so that you don't miss out on any videos like this to come in the future i love you guys so much until next time bye